Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Blue My Mind Makeup Tutorial. This is the look that I will be creating. If you like it, start here. I'm going to start out using the e.l.f. Aqua Primer Mist. I'm going to spray the top of my face. And I'm going to use the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation in the shade Nutmeg. I always apply the makeup to the top of my face first. Get in there and blend, 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 blend. Now I'm going to take the Rimmel London pencil and uh, carve out my eyebrows. Then I'm going to take the spoolie and bring the color through my brows. And now I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Beautiful Bronze. And I'm going to go back through the brows with my pencil to make sure that I don't have any patchy spots. And then once again I'll take the spoolie and bring that color through the brows as well as blend it in the center so that it doesn't have a harsh line. Now I'll take the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Tawny and use it to clean up the bottom of my eyebrows. And then I'm also going to use it today as my eyeshadow primer. I've seen many gurus online use this uh, concealer this way. Uh, I've never used it before, so today's a first. Let's see how it works out. And now I'm going to use MAC Studio Fix in the shade NW45. I'll put a little bit of tape on the side of my eyes. I'm going to use this as a transition color. I'm going to kind of carve out a shape that I'd like for my eyes. And as I mentioned before, use it as a transition color. The first eyeshadow that I'm going to use is the Expert Wear Maybelline eyeshadow and this is Teal the Deal. I'm going to use that in the inner corners of my eye and bring it to the center. And now I'm going to use another shade for the outer corner of my eye. This one is the MAC eyeshadow in the shade Electric Eel. I'll bring that all the way up, almost where my brow is, and bring it over. Again, carving a shape out. I'm not going to connect the shades. I'll leave that center open because I have another eyeshadow for that. 
and that eyeshadow is from Milani it's a baked eyeshadow and it's the name of this tutorial blew my mind With the center color blew my mind, I will then connect uh, the other two shades that I put on my eye. And then I'll use my finger to blend it in a little bit better because I get a little bit better result with my finger seems to blend the eyeshadows just a little bit better than a brush. I'm going to go back in with a little bit more teal the deal so I won't lose the intensity of that color. Now I'll be using Revlon Color Stay Cream Shadow Bold and Tuxedo Smoking. And here's the e.l.f. Poreless Primer Putty. I use this mainly for my nose, for uh, large pores on my nose, and then I bring it over to my cheeks as well. I'm now going to complete the bottom of my face. I'll grab the e.l.f. Aqua Primer Mist again. And then the MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. Now I got this hack from Savannah Silver. I'm sure most of you know her here on YouTube. She said if you put painterly on your mouth like this, it'll uh, stop your uh, makeup from cracking in your smile lines. And then I got this one from Jackie Ina. She said if you put uh, your powder on your face before you put your foundation on, then you won't be so oily. So I got two hacks that I'm doing today that I don't normally do but we'll see how they work out now we'll go back in with the elf flawless finish foundation in nutmeg there's my tribal paint and then I'll just blend 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 I won't bring it all the way up to my eyes because I'll be putting my concealer there but I will blend it everywhere else. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in cinnamon and chestnut. First I'll put cinnamon on my under my eyes. This is what I normally use. This is just for my regular everyday beat. But I want to kind of lighten it up a little bit with the shade a little bit lighter. So let's first put the cinnamon on and then I'll blend it out. As you can see I like full coverage foundation and concealer some of us need it and here's the uh, elf 16 hour camo concealer in chestnut I just wanted a little bit more lit under my eyes than I normally wear it And I've never used this one before, so we're going to see. Today's kind of a first. I've done a couple of firsts today in my makeup routine. Uh, then I'm going to use the Ben Nye Luxury Banana Powder. This is a first as well. I don't 
normally use this. I do have the powder, but I very rarely use it. Let's try it out today. I'm just going to set under my eyes with it. And then I'm going to grab the Fenty Setting Powder in the shade Hazelnut for the rest of my face. I'll also grab the Fenty Bronzer in Mocha Mommy. This is actually the only bronzer that I have, so you'll see me using this in other makeup tutorials. I'll get used to using someone else's bronzer, but for right now, it's just Fenty. So I'll go in with the uh, Ben Eye uh, Luxury Banana Powder, and I'm going to put that underneath my cheekbone so I can cut, carve it out just a little bit more. And now I'm going to bring blue my mind underneath my eyes and then I'll brush off the excess Ben Eye Banana Powder underneath my cheekbones. I'll be using the e.l.f. Aqua Beauty Aqua Infused Blush and Bronzer Set. I'm just going to lightly put it on my cheeks. I'm not real big on rosy cheeks, but I do like them to have a hint of color. I'm going to bring that blue over just a little bit more. Now I'm going to use the e.l.f. No Budge Eyeliner. And I'm using Duo Adhesive for my mink lashes. I always like to flex them like this so that they can get shape and that they so they won't be so stiff on my eyes. I'm placing the center of the eyelash in the center of my eye. And then I'll work from either side, either the inner corner or the outer corner, doesn't really matter, and start to uh, glue that lash onto my natural lashes. One lash on and one to go. I always lift up my eyelashes because it gives your eye a more open look. It, all, it doesn't let the lashes drag where they uh, don't look right. So I'm going to put some of the e.l.f. No Budge Eyeliner underneath the lash and um, right in between my natural lash and the lash so it can cover up any imperfection. 
I'm also going to take the e.l.f. volumizing mascara to go underneath the lashes and do the same thing. I'm using the e.l.f. highlighter in 24 karat to highlight around my face. I'm going to line my lips with the Rimmel pencil that I actually use for my eyebrows. I want it to be dark. And then after that, I'm going to go and I'm going to smudge that liner. I'm using the NYX Duo Chromatic in the shade Day Club. This is what Day Club looks like on your lip. I'm also going to take a CoverGirl lipstick. It's a metallic lipstick and put that on top of Day Club. But that's not it. Now I'm going to go in with another metallic lipstick. And both of these are from CoverGirl. One is called Deeper and the other one is called Steel. So I have three lipsticks on my lip and a liner. There they are. And here's the look. If you like the content, please like the video, subscribe, and thank you for watching.